work on some legs and at the same time as working on leg strength we're going to get some flexibility we're going to do something called Shaolin Jan Zhuang Gong which literally just translates to Shaolin being Shaolin Jan Zhuang Gong meaning standing training what is standing training? standing training is an ancient technique which has been developed by the Shaolin warriors for thousands and thousands of years is it mystical? is it special? no, it's just another isometric hold just like a plank but knowing this is what we need, then we apply it. So it's a horse stance, which you see in a lot of martial arts. I'm not super warmed up, so I'm probably not going to be very low, which is absolutely fine. With your practice, you work where your body is currently at. If you can go low, you go low. If you can't, you can't. You allow your body to warm up and don't worry so much about each rep, but instead worry about the consistent practice over months, over years. So in a fairly all the horse stances are different as well. You can have more narrower, more wider. You can even be upright. It's completely up to you and the art that you're doing. But I like to be about double shoulder width apart. And the goal for me is to get my thighs parallel to the floor. I like to keep my chest upright, back straight, just like with the push-ups. I'll do hundreds and hundreds of these a day. When I practice these, I normally do anything between 20 to 40 reps for maybe five to 10 sets. So in one little five minute session of 40 reps for, for 10 sets, I'll probably get about 400 reps in and it really pays off with flexibility and strength. I'm gonna give you an example of a set. This is a set of 10. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi, liu hold, and time. And again, these can get a little bit boring, um, I'm wearing my Shaolin pants so you can't see my legs but my legs are in pretty good shape but it always helps to wear shorts and look at yourself in a mirror just like when you're doing a bicep curl so you can see how the muscles are reacting so with your squats a good tip is as you stand up you can push your heels into the floor which is going to help you engage your legs a little more and you can also do the, do the opposite go on your toes which is going to help the calves and engage in a different way. So I like to switch it up with each rep. Check it out. So I'll go squat, I'll come up heels, down, toes, down, heels, toes, just like that. So there's lots of fun ways to change up a very, very basic exercise. The key again being consistency. As long as you keep this up, you'll develop good flexibility, good length, leg strength, and a very disciplined mind. One more variation of this one, and then we'll move on. This one is gonna be jumping horse stance, which, oh boy, completely changes the game. And if you're gonna do 40 reps of this, doing 10 is easy. Do 40 reps of this, it kills your legs, get your quads engaged, and again, helps you train a strong mind, which leads to a strong body. So from your squat, you just jump up. Just small jumps, and this will get the lactic acid kicking in, which will help you build that strength and endurance in your legs, which is excellent for any combat sport. And time. 